Welcome to this third video of quadratic equations. In previous video, we have seen about the introduction, definition and standard form of the quadratic equation. Now here let's learn about what is the root or solution of quadratic equation. Now, if Px is a polynomial in X, it's a polynomial, not top. We are, this we have learned in previous classes that if it is polynomial in X and value of Px is equal to 0. Now this polynomial in x is written as this, like this polynomial x is. And when we get equal to 0, so we get an equation. And if value of this is 0 at x is equal to a. Means if we substitute the value of x as a, and if it comes 0, then we say uh, that polynomial in a or value of a, if it is 0, then x minus a is a factor of px. And A is the root or solution of the equation Px is equal to 0. You may uh, feel this little, little bit complicated to understand whatever written in this. Let's, let's take an example to understand it better. So what is the example if polynomial in X is given say X square plus 5X minus 6. This is a quadratic polynomial given to us in one variable. Variable is X, highest power or degree of the variable is 2. Check if minus 6 is the root of the equation px is equal to 0. We have to check this. Now what we will write? We will write that a polynomial in x is what? x square plus 5x minus 6. Now we need to check whether this value of this polynomial is 0 or not if value of x is equal to minus 6. Means in this example this a is what? minus 6. So, we will try to find value of polynomial in minus 6. So, we are substituting the variable x by the value a here which is minus 6. Okay. Therefore, let's put this value here. x square means it is minus 6 square plus 5x means 5 into minus 6 and this minus 6 as it is. So, what is the square of minus 6? 6 up square is 36 minus is a Square of minus is always plus, minus into minus, plus. Now this is plus 36, now plus 5 into minus 6. Plus into minus will become minus 6 y's are 30. And what is, uh, here it is minus 6. So let's simplify this. 36 minus 30 is going to be 6, minus 6 going to be 0. So what we find? Value of this is 0. So we can write as polynomial of minus 6 is equal to 0. Or we can say x square plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0 at x is equal to minus 6. So value of this polynomial px is equal to 0 at x is equal to a. Here a is what? Minus 6. In that case we can say that x minus a. Therefore x minus a minus minus 6 means x plus 6. This is a factor of Px, polynomial in X. Okay, but as we want to check whether it is root or not, yes, it is a root and A is the root. Therefore, we can say minus 6 is the root of polynomial in X. What is the equation here? Equation of equation x square plus 5x minus 6 is equal to 0. px is equal to 0. Means this equation. And this is the root. And if we found that it is not 0. If this value is not 0. Then it is not going to be root of the equation. So as this is a quadratic equation. And this value satisfies the equation. This is a root. So this is the moral. That whatever value is given. Put it into your equation. If it is satisfying which LHS and RHS are equal, it is the root, otherwise not. Now based on this concept, we will solve question number 4 from practice at 2.1, where we have to determine, I have written this question in short, if given value, uh, values are the roots of the given quantity question or not. I have selected the second example, because here we find that values are given 0 and fraction. Many times students go wrong when you find such values either in minus or zero or in fractions. So let's check what is given quadratic equation 
m is equal to 0 and m is equal to 5 upon 2. These two values are roots or not. Let us say 1 by 1. Now putting, what we will write, putting m is equal to 0 in given equation, in given quadratic equation, what we will get, let us write quadratic equation, it is what 2m square minus 5m is equal to 0, therefore 2, 0 square minus 5 into 0, uh, let us write in the LHS form, in the in given quadratic equation. So let us find this value of this instead of having this equation. In LHS. Okay. So what is our LHS? LHS is what? 2M square minus 5M. Because we should not write this both sides to verify always. Okay. So here it is uh, 2 into 0 square minus 5 into 0 is equal to 2 into 0 square is 0 minus 5 into 0 is also 0, 0 minus 0 is equal. And what is your RHS? RH is also 0. As LHS is equal to RHS, okay, LHS is equal to RHS, we can say that 0 is the root of given quadratic equation. Same way we can do it for 5 upon 2. So, for by putting second number, you can write like this. And what is the value of LHS? LHS is 2m square minus 5m. That is 2 into 5 upon 2 the whole square minus 5 into value of m is 5 upon 2. Substitute these values, do the squares. Here as square of 5 upon 2 means 5 plus square 25 minus 2 square is 4. Minus here 5 is are 25 upon 2. 2. Now, do this multiplication, 2 ones are and 2 twos are 4. So, it is 25 upon 2 minus, this is also 25 upon 2. As you have same numbers, you can the, get it is 0. As value of LHS is 0 and RH is also 0. So, this value 5 upon 2 is also root of the given quadratic equation. So, in this way, you have to solve question number 4. And in question number 5, it is given in a little bit other way that find k if x is equal to 3 is the root of the equation ax square minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now what is the difference between this and this? Here we do not know whether the values are roots or not. So we are not taking equation as it is and we have to take it LHS value of LHS separately and compare with the value of right hand side RHS. But here it is given that value of x is 3. This is the root of the equation. So this is the given equation. So when we start the answer, we will write as 3 is the root of given equation, given quadratic equation. Putting 3 is putting x is equal to 3 in the given equation we will find the value of k. So, my equation is what? kx square minus 10x plus 3 is equal to 0. Here we can write equation because we know this is the root and this will satisfy the equation. Therefore, value of k we don't know. Value of x we are going to put it as 3 square minus 10 into value of x is 3 plus 3 is equal to 0. Okay. Therefore, now let me come here. 3 square is 9k minus 10 3 is 30 plus 3 is equal to 0. And here therefore 9k minus 30 plus 3 is going to be minus 27 is equal to 0. Different signs you have to subtract. You should not add plus 3 here. You should subtract because the signs are different. And 30 minus 3 is 27. Bigger number sign 30 is minus minus 27. Now, if 9k minus 27 is equal to 0, 9k is going to be 27. And 9, how many are 27? 3s are. So, value of k is equal to 3. So, you get this answer, this value of k in this question where we know the particular value is the root of the equation. So, either this way question can be asked or in the other way also question can be asked on this topic roots of the quadratic equation. 
If you like this video, don't forget to like and share. And if you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Thank you.